October 19th, 9.40 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lolly number one. Uh... <laughs> um, Mr. Wright. Yes? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Why do you look so unhappy? Oh. Oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel partic uh, particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to pr prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, uh, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't gonna be easy. Ten o'clock, same day, district court, room number four. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder who will be that producer. Prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. Or that director. Will the witness state his name and profession? Remember, you're voicing Sal. Yep. How rod can... Rude. Or rude can you get? Sorry. You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the Steel Samurai noob, R-F-O-L. <laughs> so, Salmonella, I'm a director of television. Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. We're right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. But his testimony the day of the murder. <clears throat> I was at the studio from around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting, or, uh, t meeting until around 4 o'clock. During that meeting, Oh, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Well, for that the entire thing, he didn't use any leet speak speak at all. Hmm. I know. I thought that was weird. Yeah, maybe he just got scared out of it by Edgeworth. Anyway, the time of Mr. Hammer's death was two thirty p.m., and according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Object everything. <laughs> That's not how this works. You mean objection, press everything. Objection, objection, objection. <laughs> it's press everything. <laughs> hmm. Is that when you always come in to work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry by... Yeah, I know all about... The freaks in your industry. Still, FWIW, I was pretty busy all that day. What does that mean? FWIW? For. Oh, for what it's worth. Oh, for what it's worth. I was pretty. <laughs> My lord. Yeah, he was busy that day. Tell us more about that. In the employee era. 
That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run for Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing, lol. She was cheering on Hammer, if you believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. <laughs> anyone else? Nope, just us four. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But... WP twisted his ankle during the run through, see? Alright, that's the limp. Which of course led me to missing my lunch, ROFS. ROFS. Rolling on the floor sobbing. I think. Rolling starving? on the floor, s starving? I uh, either starving or sobbing. What exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak. The assistant cooked some up. God, what is up with that creepy face? <laughs> Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, me meaning the witness, did not eat with them? So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, they steak at least. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah. Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? But does it? Well, if he didn't eat, how is there? I, I, I assume it's something to do with the fact that all the steaks had been eaten and wait uh, no wasn't there multiple other than the t there was more than two steaks oh wait no hang on yeah she cooked it, up the no no uh, no I remember in studio th two there was a there was plates oh huh. so they so we did eat something yes yeah it does seem odd now that you mention it Mr. Mandela, um, Malanella, how the fuck you pronounce it? Um, what do, what do you want, Sweats? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. Yeah, so Oh, okay. That? There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> no, uh, uh, um, uh, heh. Good call, Sweats. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. No, oh, don't make that face when you <laughs> say that! Fuck! A deep bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all the trouble. that trouble. I bought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. So when exactly did you eat? We took one break during the, that meeting. I uh, woofed it down and drool. Yeah, a mental image will carry with me to my grave, yep. <laughs> Wait a second. If they took a break in the meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. We were in the so meeting until that about... that one you press on? No, but we'll press on it nonetheless, so... What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this, the sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manila, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children, can you believe it? Appropriate? Not appropriate how? Actually, I kind of... I kind of can? So nobody left the table during the whole meeting. Yeah, this is the contradiction here. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well... Yeah, yeah, not... A1, sweats. Hmm. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Yeah. He just said they took a break. Sorry. 
Wait a second. Mr. Mandela, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops. Rough. Well? Um... Mr. Mandela, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call upon the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Mandela, you're... Malinella. I keep on saying Mandela. It's Manila. I know, I keep on mixing the two up. Mm. Anyway, Mr. Mandela... Uh, Manila, your testimony, please. Erk. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Edgeworth is laughing. Activated by trap card, you Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was gonna fucking happen. Face this looking motherfucker. <laughs> to witness testimony, the break. Yeah. For, for what it's worth, we took a break, RFOL. But it was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 in base. 12? Oh, that's only, oh, it's only 13 in base 12. It's computer thing. Oh, okay. Computer program language. Not enough time for someone to say, commit a murder in the studio one long. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Steams. Hmm. I don't think it'll even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. The break. Oh, shit. What time exactly did you take this break? Um... I'd say it was from around 2.30 or... So, until 2.45? 2.30? That's the time of the death. He's not saying that all out loud, but he's hitting the paper, though. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's sitting there and caught. What is he doing? He's tapping his paper. <laughs> Phoenix, you're not opening your mouth again. <laughs> so he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Okay, let's see if he explains this. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on the table. Oh right, the other one was Diva's, sorry. D. Vasquez's plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. Can we eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes? That's quite a feat. Is it though? If it's just the steak, yeah, you can probably- Yeah, some of them are quite big though. Do get quite big. Eh? Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. People in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You fell into my trap card once again. Surely you aren't suggesting that one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I claim it, and I claim it loud. Well, no, they can't. Because the issue is, the murder took the murder took place at 2.30, and if they took their break at 2.30 to 2.45, there wouldn't be... Someone yeah, else yeah. couldn't have done it. And not only that, I actually don't remember how long... I think it's actually in the court record. Here. Yeah, that's the issue. The blocked the path was blocked between 2.15 and 4 o'clock. Oh. So yeah, it's impossible for them at the moment. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming it 
claiming the impossible lever. I agree it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to Studio One in that time. Ha ha. I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice. Again? A again? Oh. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. Truce? True. The breaking in the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. Or true. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes. Yeah. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. Yeah. The fallen Miss... Mrs. Monkeyhead father. I, I thought it was Mr. Monkey. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. Hang on. Mr. What? Monkey. It, it must be a translation error. Oh. Unless he's got it confused, I don't know. It's actually- yeah, there we go, thank you. <laughs> it's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to re relieve Mr. Manella from his stand. What? It's over? Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several people, uh, several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no rel uh, relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one else other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the still samurai skewed the victim. Order. I will have order. I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess after which we will hear your witness. The court is adjourned for recess. All the all the people in the gallery just go out and starts running and screaming out the door. Freedom. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there's a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought, there were, I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are, if you are innocent, we'll prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Hero to children everywhere, after all. I. You. Thanks, Sniff. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's let's do it. Leroy Chickens <laughs> kicks the door in and runs in. Oh, he's going in. Go 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 go. <laughs> Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As a witness is a grade schooler of tender years. And this is a murder case. We worry that the defence might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the ball high ground. Unfortunately, it's over. He has the high ground. 
However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackens to the stand. Uff. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. <laughs> oh, oh. No, that's my oh right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of these donut crates should do. <laughs> I'm a little confused by that. Usually donuts come in box like boxes. Do they come like in wooden crates? I guess. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness. What, just because you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around? <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins and I'm in second grade. I got the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Ashworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, I mean, uh, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present. Uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the incident. The, uh, you got a problem with that? Please tell us why you saw what you saw that that day. What, Pro pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer. Uh, what just happened? That was not me. I oh, know. It was the judge interrupting Edgeworth, <laughs> and I think he just said, "I prefer. I prefer you call me the bearded gentleman." Uh. A very long day. Incidentally, incidentally, photographic evidence is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Mm -hmm. My apologies, Johnny. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'll like special permission if that's possible. Also, we don't want to change his character model too much, so <laughs> or his sprite sheet anyway. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me whenever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of it in the court record. But his camera has been added to the court record and it's a digital camera. Although he's still learning how to use it. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw on the day of the incident. Witness testimony of the witness's account. I wanted to see a steel samurai rose or just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. When I came by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. I, it totally rock, rocketed right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down, pal. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see here. See in here, honestly. 